you want to say, is it the ultimate sports car? Is it the ultimate car in terms of engineering? Yes, I think it is today, yeah, certainly. Passion. Yeah. It was mine, hello. We zijn hier in Marinello, het dorpje wat draait om Ferrari. Nou, ik ben op weg hier naartoe al een stuk of tien winkels tegengekomen, dus ik ga nou eens even kijken wat het nou eigenlijk betekent. Ferrari fabriek in zo'n dorp als dit. Ferrari is about being extreme. We're extreme in terms of engineering, extreme in terms of performance, and ultimately because of that we're extreme in terms of price. You know, Ferrari costs a lot of money. Ferraris in the past have been fantastically fast, but bits have fallen off them. They've not been fantastic reliable. But we've changed that. We've made the cars more reliable, easier to drive. But at the same time, we want to try and keep this exclusivity. We want Ferrari to be, still be this icon. I mean, people say to us, why can't you make a small Ferrari, a cheaper Ferrari? But that's not, that's not you know, why do that? That's compromising yeah. Ferrari. Ferrari is about building the best that we possibly can. Enzo Ferrari begon zijn beroemde automerk in 1947. Een merk dat door de jaren heen zoveel stijl en klasse ging uitstralen dat alleen het woord Ferrari al onlosmakelijk verbonden is aan exclusiviteit. In de 41 jaar dat Enzo Ferrari het bedrijf runde, werden er meer dan 5000 races en 25 wereldtitels gewonnen. Het is dan ook mede door de resultaten in de Formule 1 dat Ferrari zich internationale naam en faam verworf. Can you tell me more about the emblem? The emblem, the, the Cavallino as it's called, the rampant Cavallino has gone through a series of stages of change over the years, but the horses stayed more or less the same. It was originally given to Enzo Ferrari in the early 20s by a, a, a family whose son had been killed in the First World War, the Italian pilot, the horse. Uh, and he carried this on, on his plane. They gave it to Enzo Ferrari. They'd seen him compete in hill climbs or so, something like that. And uh, he took the horse on and put it on the side of his cars. I think it's the racing. I think it's the beauty of the cars. I mean, the cars, I don't know whether you, you can see behind us, but we have some beautiful cars. Ferrari's about beauty and art and performance. One day while I was searching Dit is Ferrari's eerste Formule 1 auto en dit is Ferrari's laatste Formule 1 auto. En daar zit dus 48 jaar tussen. Racing is really a, a very interesting concept for Ferrari. I think part of the myth of Ferrari has been created by the fact that for 52 years it's always been a Ferrari. There's always been a red car on the grid. Okay, it's a car, but there's very much a human aspect to it. We win races, we lose races. Fortunately, some of our drivers have been killed in the past. So it's, it's, a, it's a, a mixture of human emotions. We don't advertise. You cannot, you know, we do not advertise Ferrari on television. We don't advertise Ferrari in newspapers or magazines. So we rely on racing to sort of create that sort of aura and mystique and excitement about Ferrari. Marinello, this whole dorp draait om Ferrari. There op the hoek een winkel via Ferrari. Vlag hangen uit, alles draait om Ferrari. Het is, het is niet te geloven. Je kunt het zo gek niet bedenken of het bestaat. Alles van Ferrari. With me. With you. Uh, with me. A special picture, huh? Ah, yes, very special. That is Shumi. <laughs> it's a big factory, so a lot of people can, can come all around the world, and especially from other parts, from Italy, in order to work inside of it. And then uh, it is important for us, uh, as a, for, the, for the shop, because uh, uh, it is a big business around, uh, around, uh, around it. How many of those little cars are sold in the world? 
the global uh, business will provide us about two, two billions of... Uh, Only of merchandise. Yeah. Billion, two billion dollars yeah. of merchandise money comes yeah. in at Ferrari. Yeah. That's maybe even more than the cars. Yeah. You know, approximately uh, the uh, path of development uh, from just the drawing to the final delivery to customers uh, takes uh, about uh, 40 months, just uh, as an average, a very tentative uh, uh, figure. We cannot uh, any time uh, mismatch uh, our customers' expectations. We should uh, every time uh, try to even uh, be uh, beyond uh, those expectations. Ferrari is determined that we will not make more than 4,000 cars. Last year we made 3,700 cars. This year we'll make probably just under 4,000 cars. Hier heb ik dus al zo lang van gedroomd, rijdende op het testcircuit van Ferrari. Een van de gaafste dingen die hij is gebleven. Ah, en het is nou moet ik de sluiters terug geven. Ja. Here are the keys back. 